Fortnite is, by far, the most popular game in the world right now. It's managed to maintain that title through constant updates, incredible events, and awesome skins. But even the best game in the world can sometimes stumble. And in today's episode of The Countdown, we're checking out the 5 biggest mistakes Fortnite has made. But hey, before we get started, make sure to use our creator code, Arcade Cloud Plays. You can use it in the item shop every time you're stocking up on V-Bucks to buy your favorite Season 10 skins and emotes. And also that Battle Pass. It really helps our channel out and keeps us creating. And hey, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and push that bell notification button below to stay up to date with all of our awesome gaming content. Now, where were we? Number 5. The OP Sword The first time Epic Games really messed up was when they put their most overpowered weapon yet into the game, the Infinity Sword. This was a Mythic-class weapon, above anything else in the game, and gave a player using it some incredible abilities. Those with the Infinity Sword equipped gained a passive ability that granted them an extra 30% movement speed. It had two attacks. The first swung the blade in a circular motion, dealing 75 damage to anyone inside its effective range. The other allowed the player using the sword to leap large distances in a single bound. Another way to close the gap between gun-wielding opponents instantly. These two attacks could also be done in rapid succession. That's 100 damage in less than a second. That all sounds bad by itself, but it actually gets even worse. While normal players only get access to 100 HP and 100 shield, people using the Infinity Sword would have 200 HP and 200 shield. To make matters somehow even more unbalanced, that health and shield would regenerate at a rate of 1 HP per second. After avoiding combat, its combination of mobility, health, and obscene damage made the sword clearly overpowered already. The ability to tear down player-built structures with a single swing is the cherry on the cake. The community hated this weapon with a passion, and Epic realized that. By patch 7.10, the weapon had been removed, and Epic admitted to seriously misjudging the addition of the sword. It probably would have been fine if this extremely overpowered weapon was added at a normal point in time, but it was added on the same day as the North American Winter Royale Tournament, which was played on the live servers with the sword. Number 4. Low Effort Recolors Skins are basically the lifeblood of Fortnite Battle Royale. They're what Epic Games make their money from in Fortnite, since it's a free-to-play game with no pay-to-win elements. Because of that, skins are usually pretty good, but Epic Games has caught the ire of fans with the addition of a new pet in the in-game store. The theme of Season X was essentially elements of the past, coming back into the current season of the games, a theme that was expressed both through new imaginings of skins and the return of locations in-game. Some of these reimagined skins were done pretty well, but one of them was incredibly low effort. On the 14th of August, Epic Games added a new pet into the Fortnite shop named Gunner. Players were able to buy the new skin for 1,000 V-Bucks, which is equivalent to around 10 bucks. Usually, this would be completely fine. Fortnite players would go wild for new skins, and a dog pet like Gunner would be sure to make money. Until people realized that they had seen this dog before. Gunner looked completely identical to the Season 6 Battle Pass pet, Bonesy. The only difference was a decal on the balaclava and a slight reshade for the dog. It uh, looked more like a style swap than a full skin. As soon as the connection between the two dogs was made, players went wild on Twitter, claiming it was a total ripoff. Epic agreed. The pet was quickly removed from the store, and Epic Games started to offer refunds to anyone who had bought it. That refund also came with an additional 200 V-Bucks, and an extra refund token that could be put to any eligible item purchased within the past 30 days. This had so many people angry because Epic had promised long ago to never re-release previous Battle Pass items in the shop, which was basically what the Gunner skin was. Number 3. Data Breach While nothing to do with gameplay, the data breach that occurred in November 2018 may be Epic's biggest mistake of all time when it comes to Fortnite. In January 2019, Epic Games explained that hackers were using phishing techniques to hack Fortnite accounts. They said that hackers were downloading password dumps from third-party sites and using a technique called credential stuffing to find out what other websites those credentials worked on. When the hackers got into those accounts, they would use the associated debit and credit cards to make fraudulent V-Bucks purchases. These attacks usually happen to people that have put their account details into a site that promises free V-Bucks. So far, that can all be accounted to user error. You might be wondering where exactly the mistake from Epic is in this case. Well, the US law firm Franklin D. Azar and Associates, who have opened a class action suit against Epic regarding the account hacking, 
claims that it's all down to how long it took Epic to address the issue. According to FDSR Checkpoint, a research firm had exploited a security vulnerability on an old and unsecured web page that was operated by Epic Games and notified Epic of the exploit in November. But it wasn't until January, two months later, that Epic acknowledged the flaw, and when they did, they didn't disclose how many accounts were affected by the breach. FDSR went on to state that, despite the action Epic Games was taken in January, Fortnite users that have suffered losses and fraudulent charges have no guarantee that additional security measures will protect their personal information, and so they deserve compensation from Epic themselves. The lawsuit is still ongoing to this day. Number 2. Siphon when it comes to adding new mechanics into Fortnite Battle Royale, Epic Games have had some hits, and they've had some serious misses. The Siphon mechanic sits somewhere between the two. The Siphon mechanic allowed players to regain health and shields instantly when you took out an opponent in Fortnite Battle Royale, and for the most part, it was an ability that people really seemed to enjoy. The mechanic was first experimented with in the Siphon game mode that was introduced during the 14 days of Fortnite. In this mode, the only way to gain shields or health at all was by eliminating your opponents. The mechanic was so popular that it was then pushed to all other game modes. This was in Patch 7.0 during Season 7. Epic figured that, since the mechanic had been so loved in the Siphon game mode, players would probably enjoy it in all the other modes. But in Season 8, Epic removed the Siphon mechanic from all the casual game modes, leaving them only in competitive modes. They claim that this was because Siphon mechanics led to an absurdly aggressive level of play from casual players. Pushing fights when they usually wouldn't due to the health boosts you would get from eliminating an enemy? It's pretty obvious that Epic Games thought it was a mistake to add the mechanic to all the modes. Epic claimed that, due to Siphon features, the most casual of players found themselves disliking Fortnite and engaging with it less. People who were better at playing the game essentially beat down less skilled players even harder because they felt that they could play with heightened aggression. Of course, when it was removed, the skilled players weren't very happy, but Fortnite immediately saw a dramatic uptick in players once again. Number 1. The Brutes in Season X, there was an addition to the Battle Royale Island that no one could have seen coming. Giant mech suits called Brutes could now be used, bringing new levels of destruction to games of Fortnite. The vehicles were immediately seen as overpowered by players of the game, bringing memories of the Infinity Sword back for long-term players. The Brutes are an incredibly powerful vehicle. They have high levels of health, rocket launchers, a boost jump ability, and can eliminate players and player-built structures in mere seconds. Many players believe that there is pretty much no counterplay at all to the vehicle because of how strong it is. The only change that Epic Games have made to the vehicle so far is the addition of a targeting laser. This was added to the game to let players know if they are about to be hit by a barrage of missiles, but it doesn't really do much to the overall strength of the robotic mech suit. Epic Games went on to say that they would not be removing the Brute from the game at any point during the season. They claim that the Fortnite philosophy was to bring players of all skill levels together to have a fun experience where anyone can win. They say that the addition of the Brute was to allow weaker players to have a shot at getting their first elimination, or even that satisfying victory Royale moment, but players have shot back at that philosophy, claiming that the only reason the Victory Royale or Elimination feels so satisfying is because of the work that players put into getting it. Either way, the Fortnite philosophy of allowing everyone to have a shot at winning, no matter the skill level, only really tracks at all during casual play. A mechanic like that has absolutely no place in competitive modes, but the Brute can be found in those too. The Champion series has begun, and Epic Games are adamant that the Brute will continue to be a part of it across the event. The grand prize winner at the close of the series will take home part of the $10 million prize pool. If the Brute plays a major part in that victory, a lot of very skilled players may feel cheated by the Brute. Epic Games may not hashtag remove the mech this season, but hopefully it will have been removed after Season X has come to a close. Well, that's a wrap on our video covering the 5 worst decisions Fortnite has ever made. Did we miss any major Fortnite mistakes? Do you want Epic Games to hashtag remove the Brute? As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for even more awesome gaming content. And again, make sure to use our supporter creator code before picking up V-Bucks for that sweet new battle pass. Just enter Arcade Cloud Plays next time you're in the item shop. Seriously, it helps us out so much, so thanks in advance. <laughs> and see you next time right here on The Countdown. He found another mech! God, I swear there's just way too many of these! Time's up, Ultima! Oh. Jeez, these mechs are powerful. I bet they'll be vaulted in the next patch if we complain a bunch. Hey, you! Get out of my waters before I stab you with my trident! <laughs> hey, check it out! It's a merman! What? No, I'm not a merman! I'm a drowned! I'm like a water zombie! Aha! Uh -huh. It's my trident now! Ha! Good luck mastering the skill of tridenting! I've been lurking the ocean for years, crafting the art!